Welcome to day 21 of my A4 Advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program A4R 8-bit microcontrollers. Last time we have turned this AppMega ADAPE microcontroller into an I2C slave. And I forgot to connect the display but the program works so it's still the old program from last time which runs on this microcontroller and we can see it's displaying a 4 like we set everything up. But now we have to test our device and today I want to show you how to test our I2C slave by using the USI interface of the ATiny44 microcontroller. So here is what I'm planning to do. So here we can see our um, I2C slave and the display which we can control over it and here we have an ATiny44 microcontroller and this microcontroller here will um, act like an I2C master. And here we are connecting the clock to the clock pin here and this is the serial data pin here and here I have some pull up resistors so this is the setup. So okay how will I test it? Well once again I won't write the program from scratch, from scratch by myself but I have found this library here on github and I will use this library for the um, I2C master. So please give me a second so I can do the wiring here and then I am back. Okay, so I finished the wiring, so now let me cd into my A4R Advanced Calendars folder. And as a template for today's video, I will use the um, USI SPI master, because here we have a valid make file for our Atani 44 microcontroller. Let me create a new folder 21 I square C or USI I square C master. Okay, and let me cd into it. Then I will go into my temps folder and I will clone this github repository here which I will use for this video. So git clone. Alright. And let's go back to our um, 21 USI I score C master. I will create a new folder I will call two wire interface and inside this folder I will copy from um, the a tiny i c master the source and header files i will copy the license into it and i will create a readme in this library folder which yeah with a copyright notice and a link to the original git repository so um library for usi2 for USI I square C master copyright is Raphael Martins here. And GitHub repo, let's add this link here. Okay. So this library is quite cool. So if I go into the um, H file we can see it automatically checks which controller we are using and then it uses the corresponding pins for um, SC, for the clock and the data line. So this library is really good written. And here so we can decide if we want to have a low level RP access then we would have these um, yeah, functions here, but I will go with this function, this higher RP function here. Yeah. Okay, so now let me adjust the make file. So now we have to compile to wire interface i square c master dot c. Oh, and this should be a slash here. And let's call our target USI i square c master. And the, we need an include. Um, variable so I want to add the option include to wire interface and let's add this here okay so so much for the make file now let's go to the main.c file and here I can delete a lot of things so this was everything we have needed for SPI yeah this looks good First, let me include um, i2c master.h 
and maybe let me open it uh, my school C master.h and then in the split window let's open the main function okay so down here are the functions we will need the first thing I will do is I will initialize the library or yeah the I2C interface or the USI for I2C master operation and therefore I just have to call this function here. Let's declare this display variable as an unsigned int 8-bit with a width of 8-bit and let's define the um, I2C address of our slave which is 11. Okay. And now what I will do is, first I will read back the current value, so I can do this with i square c master read. And this function is a little bit too convenient for me, because the first argument is the slave address. This is okay, here I can put in my i square c address. Then the second value is a register address, so this function will actually do a write and a read. So first it will write up an address and then it will read back from the address. So in my case I don't need this function, but when using the library I have to do it. So I will just use the display variable here as the first thing to write out. So the display will be set to zero and then we will read back from the display. So here I pass a pointer to my display variable here. The length is one and that should be it. Then I will just increment the display by one, and then I will do an i square c master write. Once again, the address is um, 11 hexadecimal. Then um, the register address is display. The data will pass a null pointer, and the data length is null, so it will just write out this display here. Okay, and then I will do a delay ms and I will sleep for 250 milliseconds here. Okay, so that should be it. Let me try to compile this program. This looks good, so let's try to flash it. Okay, so now we have an a tiny 44 microcontroller and I want to write to the flash and I want to write usi i square c master dot hex. Okay, I need to give it my password. Okay, now you can see we are accessing the slave and we are incrementing um, the display value every 250 milliseconds. Cool, that's how to. This was the test for our I2C um, at Mega 8080 device, and we've also learned how to use a, a library to turn an A Tiny 44 microcontroller USI interface into I2C slave mode. So, I guess that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something and I also hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!